Hello, travel influence. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Swiss adventure. And today we are heading up to, to Zermatt. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome to Zermatt, a picturesque village nestled at the base of the world famous Matternhorn, one of the most iconic peaks in the Alps, standing at 4478 meters. For the thrill seekers, Zermatt offers a plethora of winter activities. The season usually runs from December to April, providing ample time for snowfield adventures. Immerse yourself in the stunning landscapes while indulging in the adrenaline pumping experiences this region has to offer. Join us on an unforgettable journey as we explore the breathtaking beauty and charm of Zermatt. As Zermatt is a car free village, your adventures begin at the Tash train station, from where you have to take a train to get into the village itself. After you have arrived, and settled down, stroll through the charming streets lined with traditional Swiss chalets, boutique shops and delightful cafes. Hello, travel enthusiasts! <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Zermatt! <laughs> so after we dropped our bags in the hotel, we immediately came up with the cable car at the other side of Zermatt to do a short hike back to the village in this beautiful weather. So we are doing the Furi to Zermatt hike. Our first stop is Furi. It is a small scenic area near Zermatt that serves as a base for numerous activities and adventures in both winter and summer. It is located at an altitude of approximately 1867 meters and it is only a short cable car ride away from the village. You can reach Furi by taking the Mattenhorn Express cable car. This lift also connects to other popular destinations such as Trockenensteg and the Mattenhorn Glacier Paradise, which I will talk about later. Puri is a hub for skiing, snowboarding and winter hiking. It serves as a key point for accessing slopes in the Zermatt ski region. To start off our adventures, we have decided to hike back down to Zermatt. Although I would prefer to start it from Trockenensteg, which is the next stop with the Mattenhorn Express cable car, and it offers a few more angles of the Mattenhorn itself, but ultimately we have decided to take it slow and go back down from Furi, which is an easier hike itself. This is how you dress for a hike when you're not prepared for the hike at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it goes through several uh, towns, I will put the exact details here. It's great, uh, you get a panorama of the Mattenhorn and it's not a very hard trail to complete, even during uh winter so if you are looking for something chill then start your day here for sunset we headed to the martenhorn viewpoint on the other side of zermatt which offers one of the most breathtaking perspectives of the iconic martenhorn this viewpoint is accessible via the Gurnegrad railway, but you can also just walk from the city center. As our recommendation was only a few minutes away, we have chosen the latter. This lookout is the perfect place to witness magical sunrises and dramatic sunsets. You can truly experience the unique beauty of the Swiss Alps at their finest. Although I would suggest coming here early enough to secure your spot. Good morning guys, we started our day early to come back up uh, here to this lookout which overlooks the charming village of Zermatt and the Matternhorn there. Uh, last night sunset was incredible. The content we got here is literally the dream. From our hotel it's a 10 minutes walk. I think from the city center it's around 25 minutes. Uh, only the last part is a bit challenging or you need stamina but those are just stairs so you just come up here and you overlook the beautiful village and the famous peak uh, with the snow-covered mountains. We are taking the train up to Gornigrad. <laughs> exactly. For the best view of the Matterhorn, right? <laughs> so we are doing the famous uh, train ride.
Gernagrat is a mountain ridge in the Pennine Alps in Switzerland, and it is renowned for its spectacular views of the surrounding peaks, and it is home to one of the largest glaciers in the Alps, the Gernag Glacier. Stretching about 14 km in length, it's not as easily accessible as some other attractions, but you can view the glacier during your journey on the Gernagrat Railway. Hop aboard the iconic Gernagrat Railway a cogwheel train that takes you on a scenic journey to some of the most breathtaking viewpoints in the Swiss Alps. Marvel at the panoramic views of the surrounding peaks as the train winds its way up the mountain. Okay, so we made it to the Hello, top. Hello, <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube video on the Matterhorn. <laughs> oh my god. So, <laughs> Train's coming. so, we just made it to the top of Gernegrad with the train. It's leaving right there so you get the nice shot in a second look what it's taking it so the train the Matterhorn and us so it's a very cool spot and as you can see it's very warm like it's the middle not even the middle of february beginning of it and we are already in t-shirts so i'm just so grateful that we have such a good weather here right now anyway so we're gonna spend a couple of hours, a couple of hours probably on this hot track, but a couple of minutes here on top of it, and then we're gonna head down. There is a trail leading you down to either Rotenboden or Riffelberg. Uh, you can like choose whichever you want to do. It's supposed to take you around one and a half hours to get all the way down. Uh, then you can take the train back to Zermatt. Hopefully we will catch the sunset here as the trains are operating until 8 p.m. So we will have enough time to at least shoot late afternoon uh, down at Rifferberg. Uh, the ticket costs 92 Swiss francs uh, and the return ticket obviously. And the way it works, you take the train from Zermatt up here you can get off the train at any stop on the way up and any stop on the way down. I do feel like once, so like once on the way up, once on the way down. Honestly, we haven't really checked. We asked, but I think that's what they said. We're gonna spend a couple of minutes up here. Uh, there is another trail next to the hotel or restaurant up there. So we're gonna shoot from there uh, because on the other side, you see the Gunnergrad Glacier. We are around the middle of the hike and the view to the Matternhorn is just gorgeous. There is not a lot of snow right now, so you can easily do this trail, even with more snow, honestly, if you have the proper gear. Then you see the Matternhorn and the trains, uh, the Gönnergrad band, going up and down. So that's actually a pretty neat spot. I definitely think this hike is a must-do both in winter and in summer as it offers completely different views and don't worry if you are with skis the slopes are actually going on the other side of the train tracks so you get to enjoy this incredibly gorgeous view here where are we going nicole monster van palace yes for dinner yeah for some fish and seafood you excited i'm stoked I'm starving. <laughs> the incredible people at Mont Serving Palace were kind enough to invite us to a culinary journey that night. I have started off the night with their delicious signature cocktail while enjoying some live music in Joseph's bar and terrace. Then for the rest of the night we have experienced something truly unique. As a starter they served kingfish carpaccio with mandarin and mandarin foam, followed by the appetizer which consisted of lobsters, oysters, shrimps and wax which was just amazing, but also probably took us 50 minutes to finish. As a surprise, the chef prepared a special dish for us, which was lobster and cherry tomatoes with some potatoes in it. And it was mm. perfect. How does it feel like? <laughs> we had turbo as a main course, which was prepared in front of us, 
And when I thought the night couldn't get any better, they brought out the dessert, which was dark and milk chocolate with vanilla ice cream. This night was truly a phenomenal experience. Hi guys, honestly, I did have the best seafood experience in my life here. Uh, Nicole? It was amazing. I love seafood. <laughs> yeah, it was very, very good. Uh, so if you are in Zermatt, definitely check out their menu. The presentation style, the taste, everything just went together so well together. And well, we just loved it. Uh, and now it's time to head back to the hotel. If you still have some time, I would suggest visiting the Mattenhorn Glacier Paradise. Elevate your thermal experience by taking the cable car to the Klein Mattenhorn, also known as the Mattenhorn Glacier Paradise, from where you can enjoy awe inspiring views of the Swiss Alps and explore the Ice Palace, a stunning cave carved into the glacier. Zermatt has undoubtedly one of the most scenic ski regions in the world. As the Matternhorn dominates the skyline, skiing here will leave you speechless. Zermatt offers over 360 km of interconnected slopes across three main ski areas Sunega and Rothorn, Görnegrad and Stockhorn, and the Matternhorn Glacier Paradise. Each area provides a range of terrain for all ski levels, from beginner to expert, with runs reaching up to 3899 meters, one of the highest in Europe. With that, we are finishing our adventures here in Zermatt. So, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys.